So setting up the network rover, uh, it's a different equipment profile. So if you go to set up an equipment, you've got all your different applications you can use. So we have Hyper-V 915, but what I'm going to use is the Hyper-V, but the VRS. So I'm going to actually go into equipment, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to hit OK. But what I need to do is check to make sure that's all set up correctly. So I'm going to go to edit, and then run through the setup process. For the configuration name, it's whatever identifier you want to use to make sure you know which one's which. Uh, units is project dependent. But the next screen is the same as setting up a base and a rover. It's the same antenna type. You want to make sure you have Hyper-V selected. For the antenna height, you want 6.56 for the 2 meter pole. Unless you do adjust it, you can come back and use that or switch that later. Measure to base and then connection type still Bluetooth. The one thing that does change is your radio type. Instead of using FH915 now, you're actually going to switch down to direct network connection towards the bottom. Once you have that selected, you're going to notice you can't change what port you're on, what baud rate, or what format. That's automatically going to be grayed out and set for you. But you can change the base IP and what port you're connecting to to the internet. In order to change that, you're going to go to set and then type in your IP address. For the NCG Adetic Network, it's 207.4.96.200 forward slash 2101. Once you have that set, you're going to go to net and then type in your NTRIP username and password, which is from the NCG Adetic Network. They're going to give you those credentials. Make sure you type them in exactly how it's given to you, whether it's lowercase or uppercase. Once that's selected, you're going to go to connect and then you're going to have to download your mount point. Topcon recommends using the mount point of RTCM3.x. Older equipment can use CMR or CMR+, Plus, but if you're using new Hyper-V equipment or Hyper-SRs, double check and make sure you're using the RTCM3. Once you have that selected, you'll just hit OK. You'll hit Next and Finish, and then you'll just go, just like the other things, you're going to go to Survey, Connect, and Connect to your rover, and it should go green just like that.